Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and a very good day. I hope all of you are doing well. We will continue on the subject of propulsion. For today, we are going to look into the next topic which is on rocket propulsion. Previously, we have already looked at the air breathing engine or in other words the aircraft propulsion. The learning outcomes for this particular topic is that students should be able to identify classifications of rocket propulsion. You should also be able to compare the operation of different type of rocket propellant and finally discuss the application of rocket propulsion. Before we go any further, let us look into the energy sources and propellants for various propulsion concepts. So all this while, we have already looked at the aircraft propulsion side. So for today, we would like to see what are the available technology for rocket propulsion. So in this particular table, uh, it shows the different type of propulsion device. So we have the propulsion device, the energy source in terms of uh, chemical, nuclear and solar and the propellant or working fluid. Okay, Those are the three elements in terms of trying to classify the uh, propulsion system. So if you look here, how to read this particular table is that it is divided into uh, certain uh, categories where DP, okay, DP stand develop and considered practical meaning that the technology are already applicable tfd is technical feasibility has been demonstrated but the development is incomplete and finally tfnd means that technical feasibility has not yet been demonstrated so looking at the available propulsion device from the turbojet the turbo turbo ramjet the, we have the ramjet with hydrocarbon fuel, ramjet with hydrogen cool. We have rocket in terms of chemical, ducted rocket, electric rocket, nuclear fission rocket, nuclear fission, fusion rocket, solar heated rocket, photon rocket for big light bulb and solar sail. So if you see here, the technology varies. There are available technology and practical, which has already been used now as well as the one that are underdeveloped and not yet been demonstrated. You can have a read and look into the particular table to see the progress of the technology for propulsion devices. In this table, it shows a comparison of several characteristics of typical chemical rocket and two dark propulsion system. So the most common propulsion system is a turbojet engine. We have gone through very detailed uh, overview of uh, aircraft propulsion and now we would like to compare it against the uh, rocket engine motor. The first one is on, on the thrust to weight ratio. Obviously we can see that the thrust uh, to weight ratio for rocket engine are much higher than the uh, turbojet engine which is 75 75 to uh, 1 and a typical uh, turbojet engine is 5 to 1 if you look at ramjet engine is 7 to 1 in terms of specific fuel consumption obviously rocket consume more it consume which is quite high in terms of the specific fuel consumption uh, uh, whereas the turbojet engine are much more efficient compared to the ramjet engine and we, we, we can also compare it again the specific thrust okay we have the specific thrust pounds of thrust per square foot frontal area okay obviously the rocket engine has larger value compared to the turbojet and ramjet the thrust change with altitude it slightly increased with the altitude but for the turbojet engine and the uh, ramjet engine obviously it decreases eh? we can also compare against the thrust versus flight speed thrust versus 
air temperature, flight speed versus exhaust velocity, altitude limitation, and the specific impulse. So we can look into this uh, into this later on if when we go into the examples. In terms of the classification, we can also compare the rocket engine in terms of the energy source. Okay, we can have chemical, we can have nuclear, we can also have solar. In the, the, the rocket propulsion also uh, can be classified against its uh, basic function. We have the booster stage, sustainer, altitude control, as well as the orbit station keeping. And the application of the uh, rocket engine, okay, it can also be employed in aircraft, missile, assisted takeoff, as well as the spacecraft. We can also classify the rocket uh, engine in terms of the size, in terms of the type of propellant being used, the type of construction, as well as the method of producing thrust. Let us now look into the uh, some uh, background in terms of dark propulsion engine. This is just a um, uh, snapshot of the um, air breathing engine or the aircraft engine. This is a figure 1-1 one, one shown uh, here, a simplified schematic diagram of a turbojet engine. Just a revision, we have the compressor section, we have the combustion section where the fuel uh, being injected there. Then we have the turbine section and the afterburner as well as the nozzle section. I hope you still remember in terms of the operation of the gas turbine engine. And then over figure one, two show here a simplified diagram of a ramjet with supersonic inlet. Okay, even though we didn't go into much detail of the operation of ramjet, but in the nozzle uh, topic, in aircraft propulsion, we already look into uh, the construction of the ramjet engine, where it does not contain any moving parts except for uh, probably the variable, uh, the inlet as well as variable nozzle. Okay. Right. So we will continue in the following video to look into the different type of rocket propellants. So there are being listed here we have nine type of top uh, uh, types of rocket propellant that we will continue in the following video that's all for now if you have any comment or question you may put in the youtube link thank you bye bye